look at where we find the forms that we need for a redetermination conference. This is a fictitious student's um, SIMS record. So if you'll scroll down to the redetermination conference page there and click where it says edit. This will bring you to this screen. You will complete this screen um, beforehand with the date. This form status should be draft because this is a draft of the form, the date that you're having the meeting, and the date eligibility is due. This is the three-year date from the child's last redetermination or eligibility meeting. Then you will go back to this screen click the button here to print and then click print reports and that will give you the option to print that report. You take this report to the meeting, you complete it at the meeting and then after it is signed and dated by the parent you scan it back into SIM so that we have a record of the signed form. Now depending on the decisions made, that is made, if the child's eligibility is redetermined at that meeting, that's the only form you need to complete. If at the meeting it is decided the child needs to be reevaluated to look at his eligibility, you would also need to have the parental consent for evaluation for, um, excuse me, for special education services signed and dated by the parent. And that is what gives us permission to do the evaluation. So those are the forms that are needed for a redetermination, re, um, reevaluation conference.